Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today's video is QA interview questions, entry level, part two. Part one will be linked in the description box. You know how to watch it in any order, so watch that one after this one. Now, let's jump into it. So here's the situation. You're new to the QA field, and you wanna start prepping for interviews. The earlier you start prepping, the more comfortable and familiar you become with the answers to calmly ask interview questions for being a QA engineer. So it's never too early to start prepping. This video will talk about five possible entry-level QA interview questions. Question number one, what is a test management tool used for? And can you name some examples of test management tools? Test management tools are used to store information on how testing is to be carried out, to plan out the testing activities, and to log the status of test activities. Some examples include IBM Rational Quality Manager, Jira, Azure DevOps Server, and TestLink. Question number two, can you explain the differences between positive testing and negative testing? Positive testing is performed on a software application by providing valid data sets as input. This validates that the application will perform as expected when positive inputs are provided. An example of this is for a phone number field inside a web page, I enter numbers that simulate a phone number. Negative testing is performed on a software application by providing invalid data sets as input. This validates that the application will perform as expected when unwanted or negative inputs are provided. An example for this can be again, the phone number field. So for our positive test, we entered numbers because numbers are expected as part of a phone number. So for our negative test, we're gonna enter letters because here in the States, there are no letters inside of phone number fields. So that should not be accepted. The appropriate error messages or error responses should be shown. So that's part of negative testing. Next, let's get into some methodologies. First, what is agile methodology? The agile methodology is an iterative approach to project management. It seeks continuous delivery of working software created in rapid iterations. It involves constant collaboration with stakeholders and continuous improvement at each stage. The phases are requirements, design, development, testing, deployment, and maintenance. The most important part of agile methodology is that different phases can be worked on concurrently or at the same time, compared to other methodologies where this is not possible, which I'll cover in the next question. Because of the rapid iterations, this method allows you to deliver value to customers faster. Number four, what is the waterfall methodology? The waterfall methodology is a breakdown of project activities into linear sequential phases that flows like a waterfall. Each phase depends on deliverables from a previous phase, so a phase must be completely finished before a new phase can be started. And that's the key difference between Agile and Waterfall. In Waterfall, a phase must be completely finished before you move on to the next phase. In Agile, you're incrementally showing the end user what's being done. Whereas in Waterfall, they're just in the dark until the final project is given to them. And number five, what is a testing strategy? A test strategy is a collection of principles used as a guide for the testing approach of the software development cycle. It specifies the test design and controls how the testing process should be carried out. It provides a rational deduction from organizational high-level objectives to actual testing activities. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget, if you need help on your QA journey, please check out my book, QA Must Know Vocabulary. If you want to stay up to date with everything, including my courses coming out next year, sign up for my free email list in the description box below. And most importantly, don't forget to learn something new today.